Where does wind come from? Simple. Om Sum keeps it trapped in this box. Oh, Om Sum. During daytime, air present above land heats up much faster as compared to air present above the surface of rivers and oceans. The heated air above land expands and rises up. The cooler air from the oceans rushes in and takes its place, resulting in a sea breeze. Now, at night, inland temperatures drop, making oceans relatively warmer than land. Hence, air above oceans expands and rises up. The cooler air from land rushes in to take its place, resulting in a land breeze. In this way, wind is born. Does an octopus huh? have nine brains? Nah, only Amsum has nine brains. Oh, Amsum. An octopus has a decentralized nervous system, with majority of its neurons residing in its arms. These neurons help the arms to independently taste, touch, and control basic motions without consulting the actual brain in its head. Thus, it gives an impression of having nine brains, when in reality, it only has one. Hmm. Does it rain diamonds on Jupiter and Saturn? Yippee! Omsum is all set to go to Jupiter and Saturn. Oh, Omsum. Scientists believe that it can actually rain diamonds on Jupiter and Saturn. Hmm. These planets have methane-rich atmospheres. During storms, lightning turns methane present in clouds into soot. As soot begins to fall, it is subjected to intense temperatures and pressures. These conditions squeeze the soot huh? into chunks of graphite. As the pressure increases, graphite is compressed, making it literally rain diamonds. Hmm. Why are we huh? afraid of the dark? Ha 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 ha! is not afraid of anyone. Huh? Oh, Omsum! In prehistoric times, especially at night, our ancestors were at high risk of being attacked by predators or enemies. Hence, through evolution, the tendency to fear darkness developed in us. Also, as we cannot see properly in the dark, we become anxious and start to imagine the worst possible outcomes. Hence, we are afraid of the dark. Hmm. How do we puke? Simple, like this. Oh, Omsum! Puking or vomiting is generally controlled by a part of the brain called area postrema. Now, when it instructs our stomach to purge, several things happen in our body. Firstly, huh? our teeth get coated with excess saliva to protect them from stomach acid. Our heart rate and breathing increases as we retch. Finally, the stomach and other abdominal muscles forcefully push the contents upwards and we puke. Hmm. What are headaches? Huh? Omsum doesn't get headaches. There is no brain inside Omsum's head. Oh, Omsum. The pain that we sometimes experience in our upper neck or head is commonly called a headache. Headache is not an indication of our brain hurting. In fact, the brain does not have any pain receptors to experience pain. Headaches are commonly caused due to inflammation or overactivity of muscles, nerves, and blood vessels in our head or neck. Migraine is a common example of this type of headache. Mm. How can some people predict rain? Simple, by calling the clouds. Oh, um, some. Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp-smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. <laughs> hmm. Why do we have moles? Simple. Because Omsum likes them. Oh, Omsum. Our skin has cells called melanocytes. They give our skin its color. However, sometimes huh? these cells tend to grow in clusters, thus forming moles. Moles can be present at birth or can appear later in life. They are usually black or brown and can be flat or raised. Some moles may even disappear with age. Mm. Can blind people dream? Not just blind people, even zombies can dream. Oh, I'm some. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. 
Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. Hmm. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since huh? birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. Why does our huh? foot fall asleep? Nah, entire Omsum falls asleep. Oh, Omsum. Nerves are like huh? cables which run through our entire body. Their main function is to carry electrical impulses or messages between our brain and our body. <laughs> now, when we sit on our foot, the nerves huh? in that area are temporarily compressed. Hence, these nerves are not able to send any message to our brain or receive any message from our brain. Huh? As a result, the connection between our brain huh? and our foot is cut off. Hence, it feels huh? like our foot has fallen asleep. Hmm. Why do we have a huh? belly button? Nah, Omsum has just one button on his head. Oh, Omsum! When a baby is growing inside a mother's womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. Why is ketchup so hard to pour? Simple, because nobody is as strong as Om Sum. Oh, Om Sum. Firstly, as compared to water, ketchup has a higher viscosity. Viscosity is the resistance of a fluid to flowing. That means ketchup provides more resistance to flowing as compared to water. Ketchup consists of many ingredients. But if we look closely, the solid parts of the ketchup, as in the tomato bits, are actually touching each other. This physical connection of the tomato bits gives ketchup the strength to resist flowing. Hence, ketchup is so hard to pour. What is monkeypox? Simple. Monkey and pox make monkeypox. Oh, I'm some. Monkeypox was discovered in 1958 when an outbreak of pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970. Hmm. Monkeypox virus is part of the same family of viruses as variola virus. The virus that causes smallpox. Huh? Its symptoms are similar to smallpox, but milder. Symptoms of monkeypox may include fever, headache, muscle aches, backache, chills, exhaustion, and a rash that looks like pimples or bristles. Also, monkeypox huh? is rarely fatal. Hmm.